Hello Level Friends, this week we have new helper methods for testing and an addition to the new where any method. Let's go! Let's start with the new testing helpers. First, next to the given with header method, which you can use when triggering a request inside a test, you can now also use a new without header method. This can be useful when you already have set some headers before and you want to exclude one or multiple ones for this specific test. Thank you, Günther. Next, we can now assert an exact JSON structure. I have this test here where I want to check a specific structure of an API endpoint for my podcast. So I get a specific podcast here back and I'm creating here a specific one. This is the one that we're looking for. That's why we're passing this one in here. And now I'm making assertion against the JSON structure. So I want to see that there is a data key and inside I want to have the keys title and status. And if I run this, it's going to pass. Awesome, which is great. But when we take a look at the dump, which I'm creating here, you can see, um, yeah, somehow the data is a little bit like this. So we have a title, we have the status and we have the data, but there's a bunch of other things that actually I don't want. So actually this doesn't return what I really want to see here. And the reason is because it just checks if the structure is similar, but not exactly the same. We do have an assertion where we can check the exact JSON which is being returned, but for the structure, which we're checking here, we don't have this yet, at least not in this release. I've just updated this application to the latest release, which is 11.20. And what we have here now, let's take a look, exact JSON structure. So we have this new method, which we didn't have before, and now I expect this to fail, and yes, it does. And we can also see the difference here. If we take a look, yeah, you can see this is what we expect, status and title, and we have a bunch of more stuff here on the right all the other fields from my podcast, which I don't want to see here. So now we have this new method to make sure that the chase instructor exactly looks like the way that I want it to be. Thank you, Günther. Again, there is also a new assert C helper while testing, which you probably already know. In level, you can make tests against specific pages, like here my homepage, and I want to make sure that I see some specific test. And this works because this is inside my homepage. But if I want to test now again some specific HTML like this, this will now fail. So all the special character like this one here are now not going to be matched, even though we were going to find this somewhere here. Let's see, yeah, so here we have the exact same text, but still this test doesn't work. But we can make this work by just um, making sure we're adding here a second argument, where we're going to say that we don't want to escape the text. So this is what you can do. The second argument is about escaping the content, which by default is true. And if we run this now, this will pass because yeah, now this works. But what you already could do in LiveWire component is um, you had a method called assert CHTML. So run this. Now this also works where we don't have to provide here a second argument. So I guess this is now way cleaner way to do this. And I think we also got some more assert, let's see. Yeah, we also got chtml in order and don't see html, which is kind of the opposite to what we did. So yeah, check out this new helper methods, which are very nice, which came from LiveWire. Thank you, Günther. Again, this man is on fire, crazy, thank you. And last, we have a little addition to the were any query method. Some weeks ago, we had addition to the query builder where I could use a new method called where any. So where any of those fields are like this. So it means containing a level in the name or in the description. And if I run this, you can see we have here two. So first we have level gems where this is in the title. And for the second one, let's take a look at this one here. The title doesn't have level in it, but the description has level here. Yeah. So this is how that works. But now we have something new, which is kind of the opposite, where none. So where level is not in the title or not in the description. 
And you can see we have on the one here the future of PHP and the description this is about PHP only, so no level included here. Yeah, so now we also have this where none method that could be useful example if you have some search filters and you can also use the opposite of a specific filter. Yeah, then this would be quite handy. Thank you, I know. That's it for this week. Please let me know in the comments below which feature you like the most and see you next time. Have fun.